Hi Sagittarius, and this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We can get a sense of information, insights, messages, and energies for you. The Resting Tree. Patience and Stillness. So, patience and stillness may be a big challenge for many. Again, with busy lives, with chaos, with obligations, with husbands, wives, children, job commitments, so many things that tie us up in terms of our energy resources, in terms of, um, you know, physically having to be in different places. And so to make time for yourself to rest or to find stillness. This is where perhaps a devoted practice for yoga or for meditation or for you know, quiet reflection or journaling can really benefit you. We all need downtime because running at the pace that sometimes we run at is ultimately uh, takes a toll. And everyone can speak from experience here because it's just go, go, go. And then when we forget to ratchet it back, we pay the price. We get grumpy, get tired, maybe don't want to do some things. Instead of uh, coming to wherever you are in a, in a uh, healthier and more rested place. And I think that there is a wonderful beauty about stillness and about creating that peacefulness within your own environment. And whether you are reflecting, whether you are writing a song or a poem, that stillness can be very inspirational. And the stillness of just listening to the sounds that are around you can be restorative as well. The birds singing, uh, you know, the, the just the normal hum of all of the probably the electronics in the house or things like that. So to find patience and to find stillness, it may be a challenge, but for the week, try to find a time for yourself. Turn off your phone, put the phone away, turn off the television. Don't answer the phone if the phone rings. Just sit and be, and be present with yourself and just kind of deep, do some deep breathing and maybe some stretching and that's that is just a fun little it's a fun and yet i think it's an important part of a of a routine to be in balance and to feel good so patience and stillness so for body let's go ahead and choose a card here these are a little harder to shuffle okay vibration so our vibrations uh, to me I measured I measure my vibration by my emotions and by my energy levels so between those two things I have a pretty good sense of what uh, what it what's going on with me so in terms of uh, raising your vibration Again, to find rest or to do things that bring you pleasure. To spend time with people that engage you and support you and have fun. So many ways to, uh, to lift your vibration. And that's to surround yourself with like people who have a high vibration as well. And uh, set aside the toxic energy, set aside the people who are not going to benefit you, only people who are going to drag you down. Try to limit your time. It may not be possible where you can, where you can really cut them out all the time, but if you can limit your exposure, you're doing yourself a favor. And again, I'll always refer when I think about vibrational energy and the vibrations and picking up all the vibrations of everybody and how it impacts you. I, I would 
suggest reading Ask and It's Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks, talking about how to raise your frequency, your vib vib vibrational frequency, so that if you're at the bottom of the scale where you feel really uh, depressed, sad, you know, just to incrementally do something to move you up a rung. It's, you know, it's a process and it takes thought and it takes a lot of care to be able to put yourself in a good vibration. And I think one of the ways to do that is also to be very mindful of your own gifts, your own talents, uh, pat yourself on the back, you know, uh, be good to yourself and practice self-love. When you can love yourself, you can love others. And as you are giving your love to others and your light to others, not only are you raising your vibration, but you are elevating the vibration of others. That energy people are drawn to. You know, you just have that sense. You meet people and you feel good and everything starts to lift and you want to be, spend more time with that person. So work on your vibration. Think about it. What can you do to help get to the top of the top, which I believe is joy, you know, ultimate happiness, contentment, contentment, fulfillment, and joy to work your way up that ladder. And then in terms of uh, spirit or emotional self, let's see what we have. Support. Yeah, well, you know, support is, is uh, it's really important. And support also can help very much in helping you raise your own vibration. Support here, what it says, people come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. Whatever people come in your life, there's a reason more than likely of why they do. You're either going to learn a lesson and maybe it's a painful lesson, but maybe there's growth as a result of that. Maybe you're meant to find a soulmate or a soulmate friend or whatever they may be. It's this person that you really emotionally connect with. And then you know that they're going to be around and they're going to be around giving you support that you need. doesn't mean they have to be with you. could be far away, but you, you know that you have their ear. You know that you have their heart and support certainly makes the journey much more pleasurable. The journey that we take living every day and uh, knowing that we have our, our call, we can make that one call to someone or we can send that one text message to, to get, um, you know, to get our sense or to get our feedback or to just uh, have someone to talk to. Many, many years ago, a friend of mine uh, described relationships and friendships like, you know, your chapter of the book. And sometimes that chapter ends and the friendship ends as well. And you look back and that period of your life, you were really close to someone and now you've gone on different paths and maybe you're not so close anymore. And that's okay for where they were in your life at that time, it was right. And you're going to have the people, the, the characters in your story that are going to last through all the chapters. You're going to have the other characters in your story, which maybe brought great joy or maybe great pain or sadness. And they played their part. And then that chapter closed and you moved on to the next chapter. So I, oh, I thought it was harsh when I heard it when I was in my early twenties, but now I completely appreciate and understand it. So don't be afraid to ask for someone to give you the support that you need 
rely on others more than likely they want to help and then finally let me pull a card for a practice area for the week as well oh, I pulled two okay you are seeing this uh, situation accurately Horace and spiritual law of attraction and I love the spiritual law of attraction. It's the law of attraction is real. It's what you see, what you visualize, what you believe. And manifesting and creating the life that you want, you need to, we all need to build that picture in our mind. We all need to map it out, make your mind map of how it's going to be, what, what you're going to do to get there. The law of attraction, surround yourself with people who have the same vibrational energy or better energy. Soak up their energy too. Let it inspire you. But magnetic attraction, I, I believe it. Law of attraction, I believe it. And then you are seeing the situation accurately. Well, it's nice to have clarity. It's nice to be able to see things really as they are. Whether your situation is positive or whether your situation is negative. It, if you can look at it clearly, without affect, if you can just get to the heart of the matter and then, uh, you know, move, move in the direction appropriately that you need to. You are seeing the situation accurately and the spiritual law of attraction. So two wonderful cards. My question for you will be how will you, how do you practice and how will you practice the law of attraction in a week? What do you do? What would you do to put the law of attraction into place or into, uh, you know, into action? So very curious to hear your, your thoughts and that is our reading for the week i hope that you have a balanced and happy and healthy week